So what is NLP? This is without doubt one of the most interesting things that I've ever had to explain. The reason for all of the difficulty explaining what NLP is, it's not because it's a secret, not because it's difficult, it's because it's who we are. The subject is so big, so broad, that it touches all of us in every aspect of our lives. Everyone that I've ever asked this question of has their own unique way of explaining it. This is probably because each individual applies NLP in their own unique way. To the salesman, NLP is forming friendships and closing deals. To the therapist, it's about building relationships and removing problems forever. To the sports person, it's about improving performance, reducing the possibility of injury and getting that extra edge. To the business person, it could be about the ability to negotiate effectively. It can also be about understanding the motivations of the people and staff about them. To a parent, there are many elements of how we bond, guide, inspire and help our children to become effective, productive adults. Richard Bandler described NLP as an attitude and a methodology that leaves behind a trail of techniques. The attitude, of course, is an intense sense of curiosity, the need to discover how things work, why things work. The methodology is a system of how we look at behavior, how we denominalize the very process of life. The methodology may look at a conditioned behavioral response of Pavlov. It then turns this theory into a series of simple steps. So instead of reading a library of books on the subject, all that is required is your ability to follow a number of very simple steps. This process turns complex text into a series of easy to understand steps that can be applied by anyone. Ample of this from the subject of hypnosis is rapport. When we denominalize the subject of rapport into a series of observations and skills, we discover how very simple it is to establish trust and produce friendships quickly and easily. It is also important to understand that there are generally two types of NLP school. School number one teaches only technique. It is quicker and it's definitely easier to teach, but the practitioner who studies in this school sometimes run into problems. If a technique fails, then they fundamentally fail. The second school focuses significantly more on the attitude and methodology. It is true, it does take longer, but the end result is if an individual technique fails, they understand why and what is required to fix it. They just move on to using a better technique or modifying the technique so it will work with the unique qualities of the individual in front of them. NLP is a system of behavioural modelling and as such is interested only in the subject of excellence. It has little or no interest in the subject of being normal. The majority of people fit into normal really quite well. And so modelling for NLP is about discovering someone who performs excellently, turning their process into an NLP technique so that you can acquire it and perform to the same level of excellence that they do.